Okay, so I'm high. I'm just going to use the edge of my plane to see if I can identify it even better. Actually, no, I want my glasses, please. Nice thing about a long-bodied plane like this, I can come in and I see a pretty good hump right there. Uh, what have we got to mark this on? That, that pencil. <coughs> and that one, actually the lid's broken in there. See if you can find me a pencil, please. Okay, Frick, over here. So we got a hump right about here. Move along. It starts to dissipate, not so bad. And then I don't see any there at all. So really, it's just right back in here. Definitely out here. So I'm going to come in here right now and just work on that little area and see if I can't if I can get rid of that bump fairly quickly, then it's just a matter of taking a fairly light surface cut over the entire bench, and it won't take that long to finish. Okay, so just start advancing the blade, watch for the first bit of shaving appears, and then adjust it accordingly. Remember, with that back bevel on there, it's going to be considerably harder to push the plane. Might even feel like it's not sharp, but that's not the case. tacking this sideways and see if I can get it to cut a little bit better. Certainly is not cutting the way I would like, and I can't imagine the blade being dull that soon unless there was more stuff on there than I knew about. So, I'm going to set that aside for a minute. I'm going to grab my number six with the blade as it is and just see if I can get. Cut a little bit better. Check that. Alright, I think we got rid of that bump. Can you sneeze for it? Almost. Okay, you, you come around this way. Come over here and look down this way. And look right underneath here and you just see. We don't have any light in the middle anymore. It's not pivoting. We're a little bit low over here. So I might take a little bit more. And then I gotta switch change blades in that plane. I don't know what I did to that iron, but it certainly isn't cutting. Now I'm just working my way from left to right. I'm 
I'm staying away from this edge right here where it was a little bit low. Now I'm going to come back right to left. I don't want to take any more off than I have to. Check that again. Okay. Now I don't see any light under the middle. And as you can see, we worked the area that we earlier identified as being high, right in there. So now we should be able to start on one end, work all the way through, and just resurface this so that we end up getting the whole bench looking like this. Now, as far as torn grain, that doesn't seem to be bad anywhere. There is some right here, however. Oh, and right there. So I am going to have to address that blade. But I'm going to take a look at this to see what's going on and why that wouldn't cut. Unless I made that too steep. I don't think I did. It doesn't feel sharp at all. Give that another go. Guess I should have put something over this. for a uh, much more pronounced back bevel, I pardon me, burr, before I leave this 1,000 grit stone. Find that primary. <clears throat> this blade's two and five-eighths of an inch wide, so in order to keep it on the stone, I have to have it at a fairly uh, steep angle. A little bit more. Hey, Jake, where's that? Come over here on the 30. Now, before I do anything, I'll show you something. This has happened to me before, so I imagine it may happen to you, especially when you try to do sharpen freehand. You can never have the blade, or the angles on the blade, any three of them, primary, secondary, tertiary, exceed 45 degrees, which is the bedding angle of the frog. And sometimes, when we first started teaching this to folks, they sharpen the blade, put it back in the plane, cannot for the life of them get the thing to cut. And what they've done is they've accidentally had one of those, bla those bevels exceed 45. So what you want to do is hold it and see when it starts to catch. Now, I may have actually put a uh, too high of a tertiary on there so I'm going to set this at 45 degrees and just see if in fact so there's 45 no that's catching so it should be all right okay let's do that back bevel again I'm not making it as uh, as steep as I did the last time. And 
and over here to the 30. Wipe that off. Now you may be thinking now I put a burr on the other side, but the steel is such on these that usually there's not going to be any burr survive. Okay, now that's got some bite. So let's see if we can get that to work a little bit better. Okay. 